road, they pike in this combination around with Zen. They are concerned about the weather. They're talking 90 plus mils here on Friday and probably showers on Saturday. It's undoubtedly going to have an effect on that Randwick track. Is that much of a concern? That's an unknown, I think, for a lot of the horses on, on Saturday if the rain does come. Uh, it could be pretty ugly come Saturday, but uh, he's run on soft track at Trentham, but I think those conditions are going to be completely different on Saturday. So, yeah, look, it's, it's very much uh, up in the air, but we'll just have to, to, to run and take our chances, I think. I'm Derek Wellington. He's group two, ready and racing from the 1400. Irish legacy was slow. Jerry Actrix going back with the wits ending. Homeward bound in the Guineas. Bedtime story leads the way at the 300 metres from now. Tokyo Tokun coming up the inside, wider out wits end, trying to roll home for the back and then Irish Legacy, the leader bedtime story, New Millennium, Grail Seeker bursting through in the middle, Grail Seeker hit the lead for Kyle Wilson Taylor, welcome to NZ Grail Seeker won the life direct Wellington Guineas, second wits end, New Millennium third Come through it in great order. Um, I think back right handed is going to benefit him. Uh, we gave him an exhibition gallop at uh, Alice on Saturday. Uh, put the blinkers on, which I've been contemplating for a while, and he worked right handed uh, on his own at Alice on Saturday, and it was an outstanding piece of work. So, uh, more than happy with his condition coming into this. I think back right handed up to the mile is really going to suit, and obviously, with, uh, with uh, old mate James aboard, it's going to be a, a big positive as well. But uh, it's just a shame the track condition is going to be uh, as they are on Saturday. It'd be nice to get him on a good surface as well. Caroline Kennedy's come over. Uh, she's uh, worked for us for a long time and, and done a lot of trips away, so pretty experienced with travelling horses, and uh, I think she's quite enjoying a week away in the, in the Sydney sunshine as well. Ah, look, he's, he's done most of his work before he came over. Um, he'll just have a quiet uh, gallop uh, tomorrow morning, just evens, probably over a 1,000 at Ramwick tomorrow morning, and uh, that'll be it for Sydney. And what's in racing away the last little bit? It has been too good for them. He made it look pretty easy and uh, lethal. You love this game. Well done. It's an easy game, isn't it, uh, Tony, if you leave in us? I think there'll be one very happy owner in the tent over there. Uh, he whinges about paying his training fees, so I'm glad he's got a winner. <laughs> um, no, we'll take that. Look, it would be great for the team if, if he could win on Saturday, obviously with James on and, and Leith and the ownership and Guy. It's, it's, it's a group of, of Kiwi mates that have been mates for a long time, so uh, great to have James on. I'm sure we'll, we'll have a good day when we lose it all.